Daily Wire 2 sports correspondent, Jeremy the God King Boring. Yowza! Thank you, Michael. It's great to be back with you for a segment one YouTube commenter observed as coming off more like ignorance than humor. That's our Daily Wire 2 coverage of the Fujiwater World Cup. Let's get right into the action, or what passes for action in a sport where the tied game can be resolved by giving two teams yet another opportunity to tie. <laughs> that, however, is not what happened in our first story of the week. That is host Russia's humiliating defeat at the hands of their former socialist protégés, Croatia. Mm. After a tied match, Michael, it all came down to the shootout in which each team was given five penalty kicks to determine the winner. It's actually the most eventful and near stimulating moment in any soccer match, which raises an obvious question. Since any tie is statistically indistinguishable from a 0-0 score, which is how every game begins, why can't we just skip the entire deathly dull affair and go straight to the shootout in every soccer match? Mm -hmm. Of course, that would admittedly make soccer feel like a completely frivolous non-game in which the winner is essentially determined by luck, which I believe is the answer to YouTube commenter Mikey87's question of the week. Quote, WTF does GDP have to do with anything, comma, it's a sport, exclamation mark. Well, you're half right, Mikey87, as Russia found out the hard way by being unmanned by a nation with roughly 3% of their gross domestic product. <laughs> also, if you skip the entire match, where would you put the funny commercials? Oh, that's right. There aren't any funny commercials <laughs> in soccer, since no human being anywhere on Earth has the kind of willpower and discipline over their attention span to actually wait even longer to see what's going to happen in the next slow-moving children's game in which not a single thing has ever happened since that one guy was hurt ironically while faking an injury in 1957. Also. <laughs> Most people for whom this dreadful exhibition is their only escape don't have the individual income to purchase things <laughs> in the first place. <laughs> Still, the biggest news of the week, at least for Anglophiles, was England's defeat of Sweden, both in GDP, 2 trillion to 511 billion, and in gameplay, 2-0. Mm -hmm. That's right. England has officially made the semifinals, bringing their number one best-selling single dream one step closer to reality. It's coming to the house. Of course, I know that many of our viewers, as proud and patriotic Americans, are wondering why we here at The Daily Wire 2 haven't devoted a bit more time to covering America's standing in the current worldwide tournament. We too have been confused as to why we haven't seen Old Glory waving above more matches. Fortunately, angry YouTube killjoy Morosa pointed us to the answer with this edifying comment. Quote, clearly you're triggered because the U.S. couldn't qualify against the likes of Panama and Trinidad and Tobago, LOL. Candidly, Morosa, this sports journalist had no idea, as I, like almost every one of America's native sons who didn't grow up doing missionary work in the third world or <laughs> being a girl, never, contemplate, never contemplated this farce of a competition even once since I was five years old and learning basic motor functions. I am, however, certainly triggered now that I know. You mean to tell me that despite having a GDP equal to 25% of the world's total economy, owning the world's reserve currency, having the finest athletes in the world as evidenced by almost every metric, including having won more medals than any other country in the Olympics by double, having the longest enduring constitutional republic in human history, and having almost single-handedly invented all of the splendid wonders of modernity, and having kept the free nations of the world largely safe for more than a half century, America can't beat a Caribbean island nation with fewer than a million and a half people and a GDP lower than that kid who invented putting pictures of your food on the internet for people to like? Why? I dare say. One begins to wonder if this whole soccer business is even a fair measurement of human accomplishment at all. Michael, yowza, back to you. A uh, really thorough report, Jeremy. I, I really yeah. appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was wondering, would you say you spent more time looking at the YouTube comments on our uh, segment or watching the World Cup? Yowza! <laughs> Back to you! <laughs> Terrific. Well, I, I can't wait for the next update. I do have to ask, as I think are all red-blooded patriotic Americans, mm. how much longer is this World Cup going to go on? Hell if I know, Michael. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I got to tell you, I, I sort of hope this World Cup keeps going on and on because this uh, while jo- I, I haven't been watching has. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I really, these, these segments have really kept me so abreast. I feel like I've learned something hmm. in every single one. And I, and I hope the rest of our audience has finally learned something too. Uh, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy the God King, boring everybody. See you next week.